Hi, this is Garrett Oliver, brewmaster of Brooklyn Brewery. Welcome to the neighborhood. We are here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I first came here in 1994 when, believe it or not, this was a little bit dangerous. In yellow there, you see uh, the Brooklyn Brewery with our lovely diagram of the brewing process on the side. The Wythe Hotel, uh, the first luxury hotel to open in the area. The William Vale up on stilt looking things uh, uh, in the background behind us. These days, it's a really fun area with an awful lot going on, and there's a lot of brewing happening inside. Welcome to my lair. This is the brew house. As you would imagine, it is the room in which we actually do the physical brewing, which is the hot side of the brewing operation. You actually see two sets of equipment in here at the same time. Each of them is very similar with a, a mash tun, a louder tun, and a separate kettle. The older one towards the back right corner of the room is the original brewing set from 1996. So this is the cellar. You see uh, fermenters here. These are all the ones with cone-shaped bottoms and uh, the yeast will settle into the bottom of that cone for reuse. Anything with a flat bottom is basically a packaging tank or bright tank. So anything that's coming from filtration or a centrifuge or might be unfiltered on its way to being kegged or bottled is going through those tanks. Behind the green area there are our set of four pretty massive boilers. You got our kegging line here as we're going up. A hundred kegs an hour we can clean, sterilize, and fill. That stainless steel cube is something that we use to mix up various beers, sometimes with fruit, sometimes with other ingredients like yeasts or uh, re-fermentation priming sugar. The Barrel Library, everybody's favorite room in the brewery. I wish we had smell vision because this place smells great. This little room holds about 120 barrels. This is not actually our barrel house. We have 2,000 barrels over the Brooklyn Navy Yard. This is a library of each of the projects that we have going on. There'll be at least one barrel of it in here so we can come over and check it out easily. The Lab. I'm a little sad looking at this because part of this used to be my office, but they're putting it to better use. You got a shaker on the table over there uh, working away. You got one of our guys sitting there uh, in front of the microscope, which I actually bought back in 1995. And uh, Rob's here busy working away. We run a very wide variety of tests on each batch of beer that comes through the brewery. bottling line you know even for me this gives me like a Willy Wonka sort of quality to it so you're not actually seeing bottling what you're seeing here is labeling and these crates that you see are going to be used for re-fermentation in the bottle they're open on all sides and this allows airflow so that you can keep the same temperature throughout the room uh, in our re-fermentation room so all this beer is actually being bottled flat and gains all of its carbonation through the secondary fermentation in the bottle across the street in our re-fermentation room There's still a lot of handwork involved. Going into the cases, you see kegs moving out. It's a very, very busy place. Everybody kind of has to watch their traffic. Our bottling machine is awesome. It can run, of this size, about 3,000 bottles an hour. And smaller bottles, we run about 7,000 bottles an hour. I always love the juxtaposition here. We have a state-of-the-art bottling line that we installed a couple of years ago, together with this 1880s building with all of its beautiful old wooden truss work. It would cost you an awful lot of money to put a roof like this on now, and uh, I think it's just beautiful. See, there's a little chandelier hanging up there from an old birthday party. And finally, our tasting room, where all of our work finally comes to fruition and lands in your glass. It's a funny thing. I remember this uh, from 20 years ago when we were working on it, and this floor was all dirt, and the whole building was all uh, ripped up. And we have thousands of people coming here, visiting us every week, and they come from all around the world. And it's great to see them here in Brooklyn.